December 4th, our journey as a Guardian continues as we rummage through this new equipment obtained from Golden Age vaults around the system. Ada One wanted to keep these vaults on lockdown, hoping these assets would come in handy in a time of need, like when the darkness arrives. But now, a new threat has emerged in the last safe city and Ada needs our help to reclaim her tech and forge new weapons of devastation. Today we are going to discuss who the enemy of Black Armory is, how they are connected to the spider, and much more. I know where Haltrin and his barren scheme. You go scratch your rich. Then we can just say, you owe me. Do we have a deal? Deal. <laughs> Black Armory releases next week and will send us Guardians on an adventure to craft Golden Age weapons for use against the forces to come. With this annual pass, Bungie has made it clear that this is not you know, the typical expansion release we are used to. These content releases will have new activities and new gear to go after, but nothing in terms of story missions like the traditional expansions. Now that sounds a little disappointing at first, but there's actually tons of story and lore within Black Armory itself. For example, what we're talking about in this video, an enemy group that thinks they can just gain leverage in an abandoned part of our city. So Black Armory's story will be told through these lore tabs, the new vendor, a possible cutscene, who knows, and most importantly the brand new raid which launches December 7th. This is super exciting to me because Bungie said this is a complete raid release compared to another raid layer like we've had with the Leviathan. If you look up some of the stuff on various sites, you know, there's still text that says complete the raid layer to get this armor or this emblem, but it was stated that this wasn't, you know, adjusted or changed yet and it is a complete raid experience itself. Now in terms of this raid, what do we know and who is our enemy? The Vidoc told us that the raid will be comparable to Wrath of the Machine with high intense combat and fresh experiences like avoiding obstacles on our sparrows. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna go to the city. Like we've never done anything yeah. like that before and it's awesome. And you drop straight into this old part of the city that you haven't ever been in because it's it's been off limits. It's about the unexpected. It's got vehicles, it's different in a very refreshing way. It's a throwback to Wrath of the Machine style combat. It's, it's much more focused on high action, high adrenaline. Keep the throttle pegged. That would be my, uh, <laughs> my advice. Now me personally, just a little side note here, just from watching this trailer, I got the vibe from Rise of Iron right away. Not sure if it was because of the plot or the enemy design from the one picture we get, but Wrath of the Machine was a pretty good raid, so I'm excited to see what this one has to offer. This new experience is called Scourge of the Past and will involve us invading a locked off section of the city where a new fallen syndicate has begun to take things over. Now with the release of the latest patch on Tuesday, uh, sites like Ishtar, Light.gg and others have made some new information available pertaining to next week's release. In particular here, we have a list of quest steps that may hint towards who the raid boss is and how this new fallen syndicate came to be. So I'm going to read the steps here and then we'll talk about it afterwards. So first one is gather additional tainted gear. It says the spider can make use of the black armory gear tainted by the fallen. Eliminate fallen with precision kills to collect tainted black armory gear and eliminate fallen bosses in public events and strikes to obtain corrupted black armory gear. Next you have gathered enough evidence to approach the spider. The new syndicate is making a push on the tangled shore. Find out who has been in contact with it. So here you gotta capture a wanted fallen emerging from a cryopod in Thieves Landing and defeat fallen with melee damage on the Tangled Shore. The fallen have dropped a clue identifying the spider's mysterious competitor. His name is Civix and he is the leader of the Kells Scourge Syndicate, a group of anti-fallen everything hell bent on sowing chaos wherever they go. The spider would surely appreciate hearing this information from you. Civix's syndicate, the Kells Scourge, is growing fast and seems fearless. Fallen are distributing his tainted black armory gear everywhere. Track the origin of this tainted gear by investigating Fallen caches in the EDZ. Kells Scourge operatives intercepted on Nessus revealed Civix's center of operation here on Nessus. Investigate Civix's center of operation to track the origin of the black armory gear. 
And lastly, the scan of Civix's Black Armory crates reveal the true origin of the tainted gear, another Black Armory forge. Explore an uncharted location on Nessus and locate the lost forge. So it seems like this quest is going to be sort of to set things up. You see at the end there we go to the forge on Nessus. So it sounds like we kind of learn a little bit about the story, what the incentive here is, and then we could begin our journey with these forges, I guess. It seems we're going to go to the Tangled Shore because some fallen are seen using this tainted black armory gear. From there, we're going to kill a bunch of them and gather enough evidence to approach the spider and tell him what the heck is going on here. I'm sure when we're there, he'll tell us something too, valuable info, maybe there'll be a cutscene, probably not, but we meet with him and then we're going to go out on our way. So we have this new Scourge Syndicate, which are anti-fallen fallen who inflict chaos wherever they go. This syndicate or a group of individuals or organizations combined to promote some common interest it turns out to be a competitor of the spider himself and the fallen drops some clues for us along the way. Now towards the tail end of Destiny 1, the fallen began to leave their houses and combine together to become the House of Dusk or the purple fallen we see throughout the system. So the only true houses that remained would be the Dusk and possibly the Kings, but we know that Aldrian killed Krask, who was the Kell of Kings, so who knows with that situation. But the point is, the Fallen that didn't join a house are scattered among the system. Varix wants to create his own house as he is a Kell now to rebuild the Elixni species, and others join the Spider's crime syndicate in the Tangled Shore where they support the Fallen mob boss himself. So the way I see it is that for those that aren't in houses, there are these new syndicates. The Spiders was the first we became aware of, but now we have the Scourge Syndicate in the Black Armory, which is another group of rogue fallen using Black Armory assets to their advantage. So after some more exploring, we head to the EDZ and eventually Nessus to track down the origin of this gear. Within the last steps, the quest itself wraps up on Nessus near a forge, but we are unaware how this concludes as some of these are classified. Now, not sure about you, but this does seem sort of fitting that Civics could be the final raid boss, right? We obviously aren't 100% sure, but the only image we have so far is this one right here, which showcases some of the Fallen using this new Black Armory gear. So it is a pretty good assumption to say that the raid in the city will involve the Scourge Syndicate. The weird thing is that we don't really have an answer to is, how did these Fallen get in? Did someone let them inside, or did they dig tunnels under the giant wall that's supposed to protect us from threats like themselves? It's kind of weird. But I really do enjoy how the Fallen have evolved over time. From the simple devils in the Cosmodrome to the Splicers in Rise of Iron, there were different mechanics and changes that came with replayability. Now, it's hard to determine if these you know, new Fallen in particular will have new mechanics or if they just look different, but it's still exciting nonetheless to see something new. Something else I just thought of is that this is another great prime example of how desperate the Fallen truly are. When they were getting destroyed after the Taken King, you know, we were taking down all their leadership, they resorted to Machine Priests and Siva Tech to convert their own bodies to try and make themselves gods so they can expand and survive. This essentially is the same thing here except with Golden Age weaponry obtained from the Black Armory vaults around the system. So the fallen that are left are desperate, you know, trying to stay alive, trying to cling to life any way they can. But along with that, there's always going to be the chaos like with the Scourge Syndicate here, so their chances don't look too good. Now there were also some theories suggesting that Civics is in fact the spider's brother. But from just me browsing around, I couldn't find any evidence on this and you know, it could be in the audio files, somebody might have data mined it. But that's definitely also something to keep in mind as well. It says the spider and Civics have history, but it seems that the spider is ready to let go. So going from just that sentence, it's kind of a little bit sketchy, but we do know that, you know, the spider runs things here in the Tangled Shore. This is his business, he's the crime boss or whatever, and if someone is stepping on his turf like Civics is, he's going to deal with it, whether it's his brother or not. So like I said, no confirmation, just thought I'd share that as well, but if it does turn out to be true, that's going to be a pretty cool twist. But Guardians, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the backstory behind the Scourge Syndicate here. I know it's not confirmed to be the raid boss or anything like that, but it seems like a pretty good assumption at this point because we know this will involve the Fallen. But if you did enjoy, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to more awesome Destiny 2 news and entertainment. Also, let me know down below what other Black Armory mysteries you'd like to see in future videos, and I thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.